Nina Woods is a world traveler. She's also an accomplished swimmer, and she can sing, though she's pretty modest. A little bit, not really. <laughs> You'd never know that this 13-year-old is a cancer survivor who lost much of her hearing because of treatment and had to have a bone replaced in her arm, leaving her to do most things, including swimming, with only one arm. Nina was just three, so she doesn't remember much. I remember the day that we went to the hospital. I woke up and I was getting dressed and I felt pain. I couldn't raise my right arm. And I remember going to school and not being able to raise my arm. She got bumped on the playground, fell, and broke that arm. They said, um, you know, she definitely has a tumor on her arm and you need to go to CHOP. We've already called Children's Hospital. So I was like, this is bad, right? They don't tell you right away that it's cancer. I mean, they looked at the x-ray and they said it's cancer, you gotta go to CHOP. It was pretty terrifying. Nina had osteosarcoma, bone cancer, that set in motion a tough treatment plan, chemotherapy and surgery. They took out this bone right here, this long bone, and they replaced it with um, a titanium prosthetic. And then more chemo. And then we kind of just tried to go back to, like, you know, go back to normal. Going back to school was a big deal after her treatment because she was in preschool. So then I want to send her back to preschool and, and to kindergarten. And they said, tell her she can't run. She can't fall. Like, how do you tell a kid they can't fall? So in addition to adapting to her new arm and hearing aids, Nina had to learn how to fall safely. PT came into the hospital to teach her how to fall on her left side. So, and she's still really good at it. If she's got to fall, she can flip her body around she does, so she doesn't land on that right arm. None of that stops Nina from living her best life. She's definitely limited in what she's allowed to do, but she's, I think she's fearless. She swims, snorkels, rock climbs, and travels the world. To mom, she's a role model and a hero. So when I hear somebody call her a hero, I feel proud. Sometimes I feel sad. I remember what we went through. It's sad, but you you don't dwell on that. And um, and I'm really glad she doesn't remember. What she wants Nina to remember is to be thankful and to give back when you can. So the family participates in events for Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation. I like supporting them because it helps put money towards cancer research, and it's really important to me because. It helps kids who have similar situations that I did. No parent wants to receive this diagnosis, and I don't know, I feel like Alexis fights back.